My brothers and sisters, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We ask the Lord will truly help us to prepare a place for him in our hearts, that this day may be an opportunity for us to recognize the power of God's love working in our lives. Lord Jesus, your coming was foretold by all the prophets. Lord of mercy. Christ Jesus, you were conceived by the Holy Spirit. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, we await your coming again in glory. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son. Grant that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord. As you live, my lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed tire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises up the needy from the dust. From the dung heap he lifts up the poor. To seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save us whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. 
He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes we hear that the world is upside down. Things just seem to be kind of out of kilter and, and out of place. And so often when I read this, these words to Mary's Magnificat, I, I think about how God is intending on turning the world upside down. The rich are going to be thrown down. The lowly are going to be raised up. God's going to turn everything upside down. Well, no, actually what he's planning on doing is write, writing everything, putting it the way it's supposed to be. The world is upside down. We allow those with power, we allow those with pride, we allow those with money to run the show. And often they do that by stepping on the heads of the poor, using the poor for their own enrichment, whether that be in terms of money or power, whatever it is. And yet the Lord is calling us to recognize that it isn't in the poor and the humble that we find our way to heaven. It is in their goodness and their grace and the opportunities that they bring to us for goodness and grace that we can find our way to God's grace. So, Cardinal George used to say, poor people are rich people's ticket out of hell. Think about that. Poor people are rich people's ticket out of hell. And to the extent that we, as a part of the wealthiest nation in the world, are attentive to the needs of the poor, those who knock on our doors, those who sit on our borders, those who have their children taken away from them, to the extent that we pay attention to them, we find ourselves in God's grace. Or do we find ourselves disconnected from them? Do we find ourselves disgraced. We have lots and lots of opportunities to do good for people and unfortunately we have lots and lots of opportunities to do them harm. And it's for us to choose. Do we choose to live in a world that's upside down or do we choose to live in a world that God sets aright? And how are we going to help make that happen? That's called the kingdom of God. We stand together and we offer our prayers and petitions. That these days leading to Christmas may be blessed for us and for our families, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for families who are separated, for families that are divided, that they may be healed and joined once again in mutual love. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find in our hearts a room for generosity, especially for those who are in most need of our help. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those uh, downstate and in Kentucky who've lost so much in the recent tornadoes. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That God will open our eyes to the needs of the poor, the oppressed, the lonely, the vulnerable. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in need of God's healing, and for those who have died, especially Frank Formas, who will be buried from our church this morning. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Mass intentions today, Frank Bajosek and James J. Schmidt, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness and peace, Hear the prayers of your people. Bless us, Lord, so that we may sing your praises along with our Blessed Mother, and that we may recognize the power and the goodness and the hope that we can find in the poor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. O Lord, trusting in your compassion, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the words of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his birth, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, St. George, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
Together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And we offer a sign of Christ's love and peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite the folks at home now to take a moment, make an act of spiritual communion, asking that the Lord will come into your heart and your life today.
Let us pray. O Lord, may reception of your sacrament strengthen us so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Mass has ended. We go in peace. And thanks Amen. be to God. Just a couple of reminders. Tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, Father Tom is going to be doing a wonderful presentation here of music and poetry and readings. And so uh, it'd be a wonderful way to kind of get into the swing of things for Christmas, even though we don't have any snow. Doesn't that break your heart? So, so um, I really would encourage you to come. If you can't come, for you folks at home, uh, it will be live streamed. And so I do hope that you'll be able to enjoy that. Secondly, to the folks who are at home, I want to remind you that at 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve and 9.30 in the morning Christmas Day, we will be having a parking lot mass. So even if you don't feel comfortable coming into church and being with the crowds, you're welcome to join us in the east parking lot and we will come out to bring you communion at the appropriate time. So please, we want to make it as possible, as much as possible, uh, to help people uh, be a part of our uh, uh, joyful celebration of the Lord's birth on Christmas. Have a wonderful day, everyone. <laughs>